Let's pretend that this is the Earth. There are four spheres that make up the Earth. The geosphere, the hydrosphere, the atmosphere, and the biosphere. These four spheres make up everything on the Earth's surface. The geosphere makes up the Earth's land. Things like mountains and earthquakes involve the geosphere. The hydrosphere involves all the world's water. Oceans, seas, lakes, and the water that comes out of your sink is part of the hydrosphere. The atmosphere is the air and all the gases in it. From what you breathe to the pollution from your car, it's all part of the atmosphere. The last sphere is the biosphere. The biosphere includes all the life on Earth. Every single last living thing is part of the biosphere. All of these spheres interact with each other, and we need all of them to survive. For instance, the water of the hydrosphere helps shape the land of the geosphere. Humans that are part of the biosphere can influence the geosphere by mining fossil fuels from it, and then impact the atmosphere by burning the fuels to make electricity. The Earth itself is technically an open system, meaning that both matter and energy can come and go from the planet, but usually only a tiny amount of hydrogen atoms leave the Earth, and tiny objects from space add to it, so it's usually considered a closed system. The Earth really likes the number four. Not only does it have four spheres, it has four layers, too. The uppermost part is the crust, followed by the mantle, the outer core, and the inner core. The crust is the outermost part of the Earth, and is broken up into about 20 different plates. The plates are constantly moving, and the movement of the plates is what causes earthquakes. The mantle is the next layer. The mantle is about 50 miles under the surface and is denser than the crust. The mantle makes up most of the Earth itself. Next is the outer core. The outer core is entirely liquid and extremely hot. The convection that causes movement in the outer core creates the Earth's magnetic field. The magnetic field is one of the most important things on Earth because it shields us from the sun's energy. The sun is responsible for giving us lots of great things like heat and light, so it's usually pretty nice, but without the magnetic field we would all die very quickly. Finally, at the center of the Earth is the inner core. The inner core is a solid ball of iron and is about as hot as the surface of the sun.